Hey, what's going on, Fifth Fam? Casey here, and I wanted to do a video for you today on the importance of quality time, but also quantity time with your loved ones. Okay, before we get into this video, I think uh, I need to address the elephant in the room, and that is my nice shiner here uh, that I received uh, by a rogue elbow in Jiu Jitsu. Um, I'm fine, it doesn't hurt. Um, it's just I'm not gonna be able to do any of my modeling gigs uh, until this is gone. Um, luckily, I don't have any modeling gigs that I had to cancel. So, anyhow. Um, so, let me tell you first um, where this video kind of sparked or where it came from. I heard a stat not too long ago that the average parent spends 22 minutes a day like actively engaged with their kids. And that's horrible. All right? So out of 24 hours, our children are only getting 22 minutes of our attention. And uh, there's a lot of reasons for that. And that kind of led me to, all right, let's say I'm that guy. Let me say, let me say that I am only getting 22 minutes a day with my child. How can I increase that? And I think there's a lot of opportunities in our lives to increase that. And maybe we just don't see them or we overlook them. So that's why I wanted to first talk about quantity time. Now I'm, if you have little kids like I do, my daughter's about to turn eight, my son's five, um, we all know that like you are 10 times faster completing errands if it's just you as opposed to bringing tagging your or, you know bringing your kids along for the ride. Um, you know, just the other day my wife was like, uh, hey, you know, here's this honeydew list. I need you to stop at the grocery store. And I was like, mm, uh, I, am I going to go alone? And I remember this 22 minute this 22 minute um, stat and I was like, all right, come on kids, let's go. So instead of turning on the radio um, or listening to music, um, I do listen to a lot of podcasts and audiobooks, And so we do do that and I do ask them questions, but instead of even doing that, what I did um, this last time was just ask them a bunch of questions. All right. Um, and it's funny because uh, I haven't done this in a while. And what their old question or their old answers were were completely different this time around. And it's only been a few months. And so, I mean, their, their favorite color changes all the time. So it was like, wow. All right. And so the questions, the questions are anything like what's your favorite color? What's your favorite candy? What's your favorite? Like if you can have one dinner, what would it be? You know, um, what's your favorite thing to do? You know, just anything. How's, how's school going? And you know what? I just, that last question, how's school going, is not a good one. And that's something I want to address too because it can be answered in a one word answer. Good, fine. Instead, what made you laugh today? What made you angry today? What was your favorite thing you've done today? So, you know, so now they actually have to think and they, they can't give you one word answers in, in those open-ended questions. And so it, it's really eye-opening. And so if, so I probably doubled or tripled the average time just by doing this on the way to the grocery store and on the way home, okay? So this is just something you can do at any point. You're driving the kids to school, you're picking them up from school, you're driving them to the, whatever their activities are. Uh, like I said, we listen to a lot of podcasts um, and audiobooks, and that which is kind of a a pain, but it's it's also great because now there's certain audiobooks that my daughter has gotten into, and she's like, "Hey, you you can't listen to this until I'm in the car." Great. <laughs> so so I have to wait to continue you know, the book that I'm reading. So I have to like find another one, uh, another one that like maybe uses foul language that she wouldn't be allowed to listen to. 
or something else, another topic that I know she wouldn't be really interested in. But so now like, I'm listening to multiple books at one time. And so, but this also gives us an opportunity to like pause it and be like, hey, do you hear what he just said? Do you understand what he just said? Uh, and, and now she can kind of like formulate these thoughts and ideas based upon these books, these podcasts, and then what I say. And it's really neat. I don't know if you guys have watched and uh, we've only done a few. My kids are always asking me um, business questions. They're, they really, I think once you open up uh, the floodgates to um, allow them to ask questions, they will. And at, at least my kids do, and they're always asking questions. So a lot of times in the car, like, Dad, I have a business question. I'm like, oh, hold on, let me, let me record this. And I have no idea where it's gonna go. But um, a lot of times they have amazing questions. And the fact that their brains are just trying to figure this out. So this is the idea, and I wouldn't necessarily call this quality time. Although it started as quantity time, maybe it is turning into quality time. Um, but it started out as just me hearing a stat and saying like, look, I personally feel I don't like, they didn't take me into con consideration with that average. I feel like I'm way more involved, uh, than, than 22 minutes, but that's the average. How can I bring that average up? So let's say I am that guy. How do, how do I increase that? So let's stop listening to music. Let's talk more. Let's listen to a book and then talk about the book or about the podcast. And let's really just try to stimulate, you know, their learning when they're not in school. So that was the idea of quant or quantity time. Just finding more time in the day to connect with your, your kids. But it could also be with your spouse too. I know... Um, uh, out being out here uh, in Texas um, and my a whole big chunk of my time is trying to open this gym that um, I feel like Teresa and I were not like this I mean we are we're a team and like she's got responsibilities she takes care of and I have responsibilities but I feel like we're like this a lot of the times like she's doing She's like, sh she's taking care of her stuff. I'm, I'm getting the gyms going. And what I need to do is start finding more time for this as far as date nights and things like that. But not only do I need to do date nights with my wife and keep that relationship going, I also need to like spend time individually with my kids and, and not make it just a group effort all the time and try to kill like, three birds with one stone, all right? So that's where qu quality time comes in, all right? And now, I don't know if you can see this picture behind me. This was also like a kind of a mind blower for me, but my daughter Charlotte tends to, she loves to draw and she tends to draw the same things over and over again. So I wanted to spark kind of a, or challenge her by saying like, hey, why don't you draw one of your favorite times that you've had with me. And so I know that's really far away and it's really hard to see, but it was actually, that's actually a picture of a campfire and with a tent and behind it is a lake. And we had gone camping with some friends uh, a, a while ago and that was her favorite time. And I was like, man, I had no idea. So that's now it's something like, all right, I know that's where her interests lie and that's really neat. So I need to kind of like continue to do those sorts of things. And now I got to find out what my son really likes that we do so that I can keep doing that with him. And so it's just kind of like this. You have to look inward and say to yourself, am I being the best parent, the best spouse I can be? And um, I know personally, there's a lot of area for improvement on my behalf. And I think, um, uh, I can definitely step up 
in both the quantity time and the quality time, especially when it comes to my relationship with my wife, um, I think I think individually we both spend more time with the kids than we do each other. So I definitely need to step it up there, but also look at the kids as well. So just some food for thought, guys, something to kind of stimulate your brains because I've said this before, like my ultimate goal for everyone in our Fit and 42 universe is for them to create and strengthen like their their relationships with their loved ones and create more experiences with their loved ones and never letting their confidence but also like their physical body as a, like as far as their strength and their cardiovascular system and everything be a reason be be a reason they cannot uh, do something with their loved ones so that's my ultimate goal for every one of you, and um, I'm, I'm going to die trying to help every one of you get there. So take care, guys. I love you, and I'll see you in the gym.